Do I need to just, I mean, guys, 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 guys. My videos, you? do you just want me to speak more silently? Should I be more quiet? Like, should I just stop talking so damn loud all the time? Like, would that just be better for people? Would that be? What's going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video today, once again. Today this one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what English people actually think about America. Uh, this video is gonna be, I think a bit different than the one about the stereotypes, uh, like English stereo, or what English people stereotype about Americans. It's not that I think this is just a guy, you know, walking on the street and asking what they think about Americans. So, we're probably not going to get into the whole video, but I might as well, you know, might as well take a look at it a little bit uh, and just see what people actually think. And I mean, obviously, I know what you guys think because you guys spam my comments uh, calling me an idiot and saying I don't know anything about British history and or anything about the UK. And you're correct. But I do know about football. And that's all I really care about. But let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below. And let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. James here, and today I'm in London. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to find out what English people think of America slash Americans. So, let's find out. Very simple, very plain, very plain intro. I like it. Straight to the point. Oh, it's got some birds. Oh, birds. Probably most no. No, I haven't. No? And Not yet, but definitely will. I have been, yes. I've been twice. Three times. Three. Thrice. <laughs> yes, we have. Yeah, family holiday. <laughs> right, okay. No, I haven't actually. Yeah, I've been to Florida. Oh no, I'm sorry. Been to America before, yep. I went to Florida when I was I'm like, sorry for you people going straight to Florida. Uh, yes, I have. Chicago. Never. Really want to. Never been. Uh, yeah, I've been to New York City. No. Chicago, great city, great choice. Um, it's a lot of takeaway food. <laughs> um, I think growing up, I always thought America was a very similar place to the UK. Clearly, that was uh -huh. very different. That's fair. Yep. Um, for me, uh, I always, I always see like America is almost like the bigger version of England. Very much so. Like, you do things bigger than us. Um, you obviously have the Super Bowl, the halftime show. All of it's like huge. It's the entertainment um, part. It's the extravaganza like, part. Musical inspiration and sort of style. Um, always starts in America usually and then comes over to us. I know we got a little bits going on as well um, oh, in we London. Got the, we got the sauce. We, South London we got the South in. <laughs> yeah, no, we really love America. It does feel as if you're walking around on a movie set the whole time. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Like we went on family holidays to Florida, um, and I got adopted by so many Americans. <laughs> I wandered off on my own. It was amazing. It's like I see America as really divided. Really? So like part of it, like that's the coasts, fair. I would definitely go to and would love to go to. But yeah, like middle America, like not really. I went quite a bit of time ago. Like middle America, we are just kind of here, you know. We we are just big, 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 big chilling. You feel me? Five years. So it was kind of good, but like at the moment, all I know is Donald Trump. I'm not gonna lie. So that's not. Yeah, I don't like. It. Mm. The food portions were enormous. <laughs> Ate a lot for breakfast and like always, yeah, so we were always like amazed at how much food there was available. But everyone did. Sometimes it's overconsumption. was the healthcare thing. You're all blessed as a country that you've got so many different cultures, so many different types of people, so many different um, races and backgrounds coming to like a big melting pot. And that's what we share in yeah. the country. So I think I, I, I agree with the melting pot. I think it's like a thing where like you actually have like a, a kind of a, a connection with your flag and your country that like not many countries. Uh, have. That's, nas that's um, nationalism. I'm I think not sure cool. I quite like Florida, New York, the idea of the West Coast, but there's parts of America which I. Do not agree with the deep south. The, the listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen, listen. I love this guy already, baby, because the south is just a whole different breed. It's a whole. It's hard to explain. It's hard to explain the south, especially Texas. Texas and the three states next to it are just their own being. They do what they want. They do what they want when they want. They won't listen to anybody else. They're very much individualistic. They are very much individualistic states. And let's face it, sometimes it's good. A lot it was of times so bad. cool when I went. There was a jazz festival going on. Um, I'm really into music, so that was amazing. Lots of incredibly large portions of pizza, which was really cool. So yeah, no, I really loved it. I imagine it being this like amazing, buzzing place, kind of full of energy and especially big cities know, like, like Chicago, life. like New York. Yeah, the energy is just. Um, and as soon as you see the city, it's, it's just majestic. As American a whole, I don't know. It's hard to judge. I think it's very 
varied. For me, I, I have to see it for myself. I can't really say. I've just had too too many mixed reviews. So I got too many mixed out. reviews. That's interesting. So that was just so that was just mainly about the people. That was barely even about like our locations and stuff like that. That was just about our personalities. Just that it's like we have. The thing is, there are always these types of stereotypes about the certain locations of places here in America. Um, and realistically, there are good people everywhere. There are great people everywhere. It just depends. It just always depends, doesn't it? It's, it's a thing. It's a thing with us. Like us English people, are, we're known to be quite quiet when we talk, whereas Americans are usually pronounced over you. Loud. Um, Loud is so what you're yeah, saying. Just like the big, very confident, I would say. Um, well, slightly disappointed since uh, Trump. <laughs> But saying that we can't really talk with Brexit, so we're, bo we're both making down bad. Right? We both don't make great decisions. Kind of think America's the center of the universe. <laughs> that's fair, that's so, fair. so there's not a lot of understanding of what happens in the rest of the world. It's just because the state's so big that we see so ourselves as the biggest thing. It's so weird to talk to everyone. No one on the tube talks to each other. It's it's not a thing. So many Americans start up conversations on the tube. Right. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's kind of cool as well. Um, they seem really bubbly and nice. I'd say we are. Like, I'd say we're great. Yeah, they seem, yeah really confident. Shining, like living our best life. To, like, change and, Sometimes. Like, sexuality, things like that. Where it's just like the other small, yeah, side that I just hate, full of hate and stuff. I'd say the first word is loud. Mm. As a sort of like, um, yeah, general description. Yeah. Very friendly, yeah. like, charming and want to, um, know about you and get involved with very charming and bubbly I'd, I'd like yeah, to say we all are back. but loud so is a very good adjective back from putting themselves out there I feel uh -huh. having certain expectations based on their lifestyle uh -huh. of other cultures or countries I think they're very very friendly um, they can be overbearing sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think of the word awesome. I hear also a lot of my American colleagues say awesome a lot. So that's yeah, awesome, awesome. Man. That's great. Yes, exactly. That's, that's um, lovely. Very enthusiastic. Lovely. Like I feel like it's more of an English word. In a way that I think English people are not. So. Yeah, she's nailed it. Enthusiastic and look at us. Loud, maybe slightly. Yeah. I think, but in a in a in a positive way. But yeah, a lot of them are quite loud. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Everyone is saying loud. Uh, Every single person. No. Do I need to just, I mean, guys, 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 guys? My videos, you? do you just want me to speak more silently? Should I be more quiet? Like, should I just stop talking so damn loud all the time? Like, would that just be better for people? Would that be? It'd be less interesting though if when I continue to talk like this and this is this is a lot more enjoyable and exciting and I could just do whatever I want. Whereas when I'm like this, it's just kind of me. It's boring. Like I'd do this if I was like sick, sick. This is what it would be like, but but we're not gonna be that way. So um, you know, the, there's you can hear them a mile away. Um, it's not to say that they're bad people. I guess it's just different culture, different way of doing stuff. If they uh, if they live here for a while, you'll understand that you know there's a few do's and don'ts. But otherwise. <laughs> I would love to know the do's and don'ts of the UK. I think Americans are very positive, and I think often we lack that here. So, positivity. positivity. Okay. Sometimes too much. <laughs> music. Yeah, you know. yeah, music as well. Yeah. Our yeah. music scenes. It's good it. at being American. Okay. So, like, it's good at having its national identity. Maybe it's not something that's felt across the whole, you know, if you go into the country that people have different ideas of what it means to be American or not and all that kind of thing. So I'm just speaking from an outsider mm -hmm. perspective. Um, I would get forward thinking. I think as a country, you've got things which a lot of other countries somewhat, have to have and you're blessed with that. I think somewhat you go forward over there, thinking. You do things in a way bigger than better than everyone else. I think we would like to do things, things bigger and better. It's grandiose. It's got lots of things about it. And when you, that's kind of the thing I really like it. And I think as well, it's quite nice to actually share similarities with a country and I think when you go to America you really do feel like it's not a massive change or it's not a massive leap and it's quite comforting I guess for British people when you go over because it doesn't feel too different. Very well spoken. I, I love the culture, the positivity, the food, the beautiful like landscape. I think I love how much variety there is. Right, variety is the like biggest thing. Honestly guys, one of, one of the things that I completely enjoy about living in the United States, especially in the Midwest, uh, is the variety of people that you get, and it's always so 
amazing to sort of just even hear people's perspectives that live in our way, let alone miles and miles in different states and different th yeah, That's the thing is that like you can now go to a big city like Chicago, which is close to where I'm from, where you will not meet the same person twice. It's, it's, and that's, and that's the thing that that's amazing to think about when you go to large cities or even restaurants or places and there's just so much variety. There's so much to enjoy and there's so much to do and that's 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 what you want that's what i like at least but because you don't need to come out because you can see so much within so i think i love that to have so much variety on your yeah. uh, it's usually like the first place to have stuff so like oh, okay. all the new things oh to have stuff like i don't understand what she said at first i was a little America confused has it and then we're like when's it going to come to the uk <laughs> i think um choice and variety mm. so uh, when it comes to people, maybe even you know places you can go or things you can eat, it, it just seems like there's absolutely everything of everything there. I mean, we, we have tons and tons of stuff here, but it's not mostly readily available everywhere. Oh, this is gonna be good. Trump. <laughs> um, the corruption. Yeah. The corruption is so well. It's so good in America. I think it's better than England because um, <laughs> they get everyone to stay hush hush, earn a certain amount of money, and not be as successful. Guns. I'm afraid I've got to say Trump. How on earth they could vote for Trump? Uh, probably how mixed religion is into your politics. There is so, no. I wish. I so wish there was a separation. Against things, they'd be like, "Oh, why are you against this? Oh, because it's against my religion. So therefore, we should outlaw it." Right. I have a quite have a real problem with that. Okay. Coming from a like, country though that had like literally the Church of England. Like, wow, like that is crazy. So I feel like people subscribe to franchises way too much in America. I feel like it's really franchised, like, I feel like... Big corporation every, based. Everything's just like There's about six franchise. of them, like, including what we're using right now, Google and I YouTube. Like so I mean, London, every, like, you get a little more personality Like, just Google in general, it. I guess. And, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Use of, like, tons of cars or something. Okay. And, like, yeah. emitting, you know, a lot of fields. Oh! Thing is, I feel well, that's like, China's issue, not ours. Know, it I is know. ours, but still. Like that is America is definitely like a big producer of all that stuff, but right. it's just so overbearing. Like everyone uses cars, and I don't know. It's just it just feels like it's an easy thing to say. It's, the, it's kind of the, the kind of people who are in our eyes probably like bigots. Like I, th I think for me the, the big thing is. And like they don't see themselves that way here in the U.S. Let's face it. London, I'm from depending on where they live, they don't so see themselves. Different States. people that you can talk to in every single day. You they see themselves as correct the people. Way of life. And, and that's what makes this country great. And there's certain people in America when you watch them on TV that you just listen to and you're like, you're, you're slightly backward in your thinking. And it shouldn't be that way. I think it's the feeling that they think they're the best in the world. You know what? We're going to end it. Am I allowed to say Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to have a lot of like, political stuff in here, aren't we? Um, and not so much him, but like what he represents, which is kind of quite an insular. But yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed this video because a lot of the people uh, involved in this actually seem very, very thorough in their answers. And they actually seem like they took a lot of time. The creator, honestly, he did a great job. He just kind of sat back. He's letting them tell their perspective instead of, you know, just trying to continue to ask questions. He actually just leaves it to them to do. And I, I absolutely love that. Whether it's the likes, the dislikes, the politics, the food, the people, the culture, everything involved, the music. Which you gotta love. I just like that. Um... Uh, People in the UK or Great Britain in general are able to actually, you know, sort of like just recognize all that. And I, you can say the same about what Americans say, think about the English. We also think you guys have a lot of some things first, whether it's some good music, some fashion, some different types of foods, uh, and your connection to Europe, realistically as well. So I love that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, if there was anything that wasn't really said in this video from from your guys' perspectives, let me know that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys for another video. Peace.